Dodge Ring Pretty Boy Watershed on Pretty Boy Dam Road. Descending on down towards it. This reservoir is actually even lower than Lock Raven from what I've seen. At one time there was a construction road running right down there through those trees and down to the reservoir. But of course long covered up since 1932. And Pretty Boy Dam itself. Another dry one. And a closer view of Pretty Boy Dam itself. As you can see here, the water is way lower than at Lock Raven Dam. Considerably. About 20, 30 feet. You can obviously tell where the crest would be. Yes, indeed, we're in a crisis right now, for sure. You're seeing something that you don't normally see once every 40 years. So right now you're seeing a rare video. And down there the intakes for the spillway on the opposite side of the dam. The water here is not piped to Baltimore City, rather released down to the Gunpowder Falls to refill Lock Raven Reservoir. But they've been refilling Lock Raven so much that this is even lower than Lock Raven is. There are old roads and things you can see now that you couldn't see before with the water level high up. For example, over there to the right is part of the old construction road from 1932. Those concrete strips you see there coming down the grade. That's what I showed you from the top from the road a few seconds ago where it departed the main road and went down to the reservoir. But there it is. Normally and totally invisible when the water level is where it should be. And you can tell where it should be right there. But here you have it. A very low, pretty boy reservoir. Not been this low since 1955. Let's look at closer and check it out. And on the opposite side of the dam, the spillway side, as you can see the floodgate is open, it's going to feel a lot craven. And that's why the water is so low. And there's a flight of steps bringing it down to it, if you choose to try it. It ain't Hoover Dam, but it's still impressive. Flowing down the Gunpowder River. top of the dam. You can drive it over it just like kind of wingo. But this is water supply on hydroelectric power. Heading for the booth. Which you can sometimes see inside. On the reservoir again. And again you can see the construction road. and a ramp to the north of it. Normally not seen. But not seen here since 1955. And again the booth. And I guess the low water has brought out a lot of onlookers.
normally not this busy out here. Yeah, let's see what's inside. Gotten light shots of this before. I already somebody spray painted the window. Hate to go through that door and see what's downstairs. Into all the water. Well, the water's low, that's right. Yep, there are the pulleys that control the floodgates, I guess. And more stuff. the construction road again, one more time. In fact, you can trace it, make outward head onto the main road that we came down, like going right up like that. We came down that road there. And now looking south down the gunpowder. Which flows into Lock Raven, about 15 miles. Up again. Even got somebody fishing down there. But down there in low water, I don't know what they're going to catch. Also, the fish climb to the pool down there to be safe. So there you have it, a very low reservoir. And a very dry dam. Now we're about to drive over this thing to check it out. Hmm. Cobblestone surface, I guess you can tell. And our usual motley crew. But a little bit more motley because they're all here to check out the low water. Whatever. Still some construction going on there. And on the opposite side, as long as we're here, check it out from this side. Through the trees you can again see the construction road. And I've had to get back over the dam one more time. Uh, why not? Whoa, check that out. Muse helicopter. I guess they're flying over to get tonight's news report. Well, that's what that was, one of the copters from a local TV station in Baltimore. Either Channel 13 or 11. 
What is it, WJZ or WBAL in that order? Let me get in this side. We were here a few seconds ago. And up here, the place, that construction road would have come out when it was still in existence before 1933. Right up here, over that little ledge, is where it would have come up and joined this road. But now you can't really tell. And now ascending out of the reservoir area, although there are many, many acres of the reservoir on either side of the road, 